And this, not an assignment for the Geographic, but a big advertising campaign I did for Dewar Scotch. And they sent me over to Scotland with an obscene budget and a crew of nine and three clients to watch over me, you know, no pressure. <laughs> and one of the things they asked me to do was photograph salmon fishing on Scotland's River Tweed. And man, again, I'd done my homework. I knew what I wanted. I came down that windy road to the River Tweed. I had images in my head of backlit salmon and silver cataracts and leaping fish. And the windy road delivered us, and there it was. Looked like the East Sandusky River, you know? the river without drama. <laughs> I turned to my art director. I said, what are we going to do? He said, I don't know. I'm carsick. I, I go back to the room. <laughs> so it was up to me. You know, how many times every week is it up to you? I got talking to one of the guides, the gillies, the gentleman there in the foreground. Each beat of the river, each stretch has a different guide, a different gilly, and they know every rock and every shoal and every riffle. And he told me that salmon fishing in Scotland's a very formal affair. You wear a coat and a tie and a hat and chest waders. Now I'm getting intrigued. And then he told me that when you, when you catch a salmon, you bring it up to the fish hut, and in that hut is a leather book, and in that book is listed every salmon that's been caught on that beat in the last hundred years. Now I'm getting intrigued. Now I'm seeing this great formal dance that these guys are doing, this salmon gavotte on the river, you know? And then he said, you know, laddie, there was mist on the water this morning. That's unusual for this time of year. And my intellect climbed all over it and it said, I want to be in the place of most potential. So I'm out there two hours before dawn. And when the sun starts coming up, I got the boat, I got the ghillie, I got the fisherman, I got the right lens, I got the right focus, I got my first right answer. I got room up there for tight and a little bottle of scotch. I know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> and then my intuition starts screaming at me. It says, turn around, do it. You're shooting the wrong way. Yes, sir, I listened to it. I turned around, man, that was really getting nice. I'm trying to pay attention to realize that this photograph is made by body language, not by facial expression. Get that right on the two guys. And at the same time, my, my intellect realizes the sun's going to come up behind those trees, so I yelled at the guys to get in the boat and row down there because I want to be in the place of most potential. And man, now it's really getting nice. And talk about having my technique down. I've got a walkie-talkie in that boat, yes. <laughs> I'm not worried about making mistakes. I'm just looking for the next right answer. And they just kept coming. And this was the final ad. Why would a man rise before dawn to fish for salmon on Scotland's River Tweed? Why indeed? The good things in life stay that way. So that's how all these techniques go together. And I hope you can take those metaphors and use them in your own life. Because by being creative, we really do fall in love with the world.